Today we're going to talk about quail hunting and those types of quail that are available in New Mexico. And we're blessed because we've got several different species. We are very fortunate. We're one of the few states that actually has four huntable populations of, of quail in state. And that is unusual. Yeah, so um, most people don't realize that, how lucky we are. Well, and they're all different. We have um, very unique habitats throughout the state, and each bird occupies a special habitat, and we just happen to have a little of each. Well, actually, you know, you have to hunt them a little bit differently, too. Very much so. <laughs> they are not the same bird, really. No. Um, people that come out from the east and hunt bobwhites out here think they must be half-scale quail because the amount that they run, but compared to our other quail, they hold pretty tight. <laughs> compared to our other quail, that's very true. Well, let's go through from, from uh, one side to the other and talk about different kinds of quail. Okay. First one that you have there is a, is a hen. Yeah, this is a, a hen-scaled quail. This is our most common quail found throughout the state. Um, very distinguishable because of the, the scales on the breast. Another common name for them is blue quail because of blue coloration or cotton top. Um, this is a female. You can tell because she has a smaller white crown and some uh, brown streaking on the, the throat. Males don't have the brown streaking and a much more prominent crown on top. If they were out running around, that, that white cotton top would be very obvious. It's very distinguishable, and I that's mean, how they got that name. Yep. You, you can see it. I mean, it's not something you have to imagine. No. And the other second most common bird in the state is the gamble's quail. Um, this is the male. It's found on our, our license plate for um, the wildlife projects. Um, most noticeable is this, you know, bright black or distinguishable black plume, red crown on the males, Females, they have the same plume, um, not near as brightly colored, camouflage for while they're sitting on the nest. Both of them have this really pretty chestnut and white um, feathers on the flanks. It's very pretty. Oh, they're beautiful birds. Yep, very common. Um, they are the most vocal quail, it seems like. Uh, you split them up, um, they'll start calling back and forth with that Chiquita call. and. Um, the call you most often hear on these old-time Western movies. Uh, yes. So. <laughs> the other bird that we have in the state is the bobwhite quail. Most people don't think of New Mexico as bobwhite habitat, but um, New Mexico, they've actually been expanding their range to where they're now found from the Pecos River to the Texas border. Um, mostly found in your higher grassland areas, found in the same areas as scale quail generally, but they'll occupy um, taller vegetation. And typically more in, in, in the uh, southeast part of the state? Mostly the southeast. There are some up in the northeast part of the state. Um, they tend to be a little bit more common around the agriculture areas, but we found them in the sand hills, and it seems like the, the more uh, more common the closer you get to Texas. And the scale quail and the gambles both can range in elevation significantly. Yes, they can. Um, you know, scale quail, they'll be all the way out to the you know, prairie flats and all the way up to the alluvial fans. The gamble's quail tend to occupy uh, your lower deserts. They're more of a desert quail and your riparian washes and, and along the valleys. Um, the fourth quail we have, not too many people are familiar with, is the uh, Montezuma or Merns, or as my grandpa used to call them, fool's quail. Um, very uncommon. Um, another common name is harlequin because they have a clown-like face on the males. Females, they pretty much have the same coloration on the back, and they look like a pine cone going through the forest. Um, very well camouflaged, um, not a very vocal bird. Um, they hold very tight. Um, just a, a beautiful bird to look at with all these spots and the rich brown color and the black on the belly. It's probably why they got their name the Fool's Quail, because mm. you can get very close to one and stand there and look at him. Yeah. Tim, thank you very much. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to have you again. Thanks. For more information on quail season and other game birds, log on to wildlife.state.nm.us and look for the publication tab under Quick Clicks.